Hey, good morning, y'all. It's If You Know You Know 401 TV, and I'm back with another one. Shout out to you guys. Um, I literally was just on my way to work, and I just happened to be scrolling through Instagram for whatever reason, because I don't know why I was starting my day with this nonsense, but I was on there, like most of us go on there. And I literally was just scrolling past. I happened to see this video. And I, I think I saw this video last night, but I didn't really pay no attention. But as I was scrolling past, I caught the tail end of the video. And this is what I saw on the back of Kim Kardashian's shirt hoodie. Now, I could have spent more of my morning looking into what that hoodie is, where she get it from. But I think I spent enough time yesterday on YouTube, uh, shout out to, let me pull up his profile so I make sure I get it right, unplug him, U-N-P-L-U-G-E-M, unplug him on YouTube, he has a series, but the first one that my, um, that YouTube suggested to me kind of just started, uh, playing yesterday was tricked part one occult roots of rap where he goes over the hexagon and the pentagon that we see often um in satanic rituals illuminati rituals and pagan rituals all of the above and how the five plus the six equals eleven or l even and regardless of whether you're a crip or a blood bd or gd uh, Democrat, Republic, he kind of goes into how the red and the blue are used uh, to seem as if it's separate, but they all do come together in the five plus the 11. I mean, there's a lot of esoteric uh, explanations behind a lot of this he goes into. But basically, my point is I saw enough five-pointed stars <laughs> and six-pointed stars yesterday Enough for them to know that I didn't need to look it up anymore because either one is not a symbol of good. You know, um, although they say that it's the Star of David, you know, in Judaism, nothing that should be holy should ever be mixed in with anything else that cannot be holy, which is the crux of it all, the issue of it all. So it's just the mere fact that this sign was on her back. And, you know, she's a very conscious woman. She's very, she's an intellectual. She is very much involved in releasing people from prison who, um, you know, have been wrongly accused for years, decades, that seasoned lawyers weren't able to get out of jail. She has that power and that influence to make it happen. So I wouldn't, don't count her out and don't, don't think that she doesn't know. You know, the, the woman is smart. She's calculated. She knows what she's doing. So I feel as if any move that she makes, anything that she puts on her body is on purpose. It's not coincidentally. It must coincide with some type of reasoning. And so I didn't need to look up what shirt this was because Kim Kardashian didn't wear this shirt by accident. I also found it interesting that in the rollout of Donda, Kanye was also accused of stealing a similar design, you know, um, a six-pointed star from a black-owned company. Black-owned, white-owned, double-owned, Illuminati-owned. It really doesn't matter. These symbols have been used over time for nefarious purposes. So it's just interesting that even though they claim they're going on a divorce, they seem to be mentally still very much aligned. You know what I'm saying? And so in me noticing this, I'm like, this is something that my people will want me to make a video about. I have to address this because if you know, you know, if you see it, then you say something. It's like being on the subway in New York. If you see something, you say something. I see something. So I'm going to say something. But I'm always going to try to, you know, give you guys some context or, you know, um, add further validation to what I'm saying. So I just did a simple Google search. I really wasn't trying to make this a long video. I have three minutes before I'm about to start my job anyway. But 
I, I just searched Kim Kardashian or Kardashian Wiccan. You know, this these terms have been floating around for, for, for years now that these women are witches. Of course, I find this. VH1, the year so far in Kardashian witchcraft. Now, this is predictive programming, like make a joke out of it, make it seem so far-fetched and way out, but there's some validity behind it. Kylie has a crystal garden. Rob is disappearing. Something witchy is in the air. Bible. Like, the way that people play with certain ideals and um, concepts is crazy to me. So, this actually made news. This was... Um, I don't remember which publication this came from. I want to say, oh, the Daily Mail. Kourtney Kardashian and her son, Rain, visit the Spadina Witch House in Beverly Hills. November 17, 2020. I said to myself, why is this even news? Who cares where she took her son for fun? You know what I mean? Okay, it's a witch house. Or it's marketed as a witch house. But the fact that it made news, I think that was more telling to me. So I said, hmm, going to keep this cool i'm just minding my business literally on the internet just trying to put some add some pictures to the context of this video why do i see again creepy courtney kardashian and boyfriend travis barker tour the spooky witch house in beverly hills so she made news not once but twice for going to this witch house her and um travis went to this witch house this year they went to this witch house this year so it's almost like um like unplug him said you could look at something and it could have three levels of meaning so on the service level you just may think oh, okay she she really likes this witch house she likes to go on fun you know unconventional dates but the fact that they keep highlighting that she's going to the witch house and there's already rumors that the kardashians are wiccans and they had a date there they didn't just tour the spooky house. They had a date at the spooky house. Let's read into it a little bit. Um, did I even screenshot some of this article? Probably not, because I felt like that was um, telling enough. So moving right along. So then I find this. Kim Kardashian in her near transparent strategic sh cutout shirt um cutout dress from victor baragan um of mexican heritage now this dress was inspired i'm reading directly from the vogue article inspired by his mexican heritage baragan based his collection on the mexican inquisition and the persecution of brujas and brujos witchcraft practitioners whose beliefs were deemed heretical by the catholic church the collection is about sexuality as power and protection from widespread patriarchal domination as used in brujeria in the 16th century, which may still resonate today. There's a sense of female empowerment throughout the collection. This is the version that made it to the runway. But <laughs> Kardashian wore this to the Vatican. She wore this to the Vatican. Wow. Hanging out with Kate Moss. Which is a blatant offense to the, the you know, the Catholic Church. Or as I learned last night, the holy cat. <laughs> now, see now, I always knew it as, you know, connected to the papacy. It's literally the one of the heads on that dragon in Revelations. We couldn't go into that a whole nother video. But the statement to the the Catholic Church, um, it's kind of weird because they, I'm not going to get into that. I don't want them to take down my channel, but we can get into that later. But I just found it very interesting that she wore a statement piece about witchcraft to the Vatican. Y'all are not picking up what they're dropping. Why would Vogue even want to write about that unless they was trying to bat signal and, you know, let the word come out to who they need it to come out to. They're communicating to their um to their different uh sex all around the world. They're they're letting it be known what it is. And if you're not watching, if you're not keeping a watchful eye, you're never gonna know. Um even Vogue said her outfit spoke of volumes. It's not just 
The fact that she wore it, oh, female empowerment. Why would you wear a dress that represents the, the power of witchcraft to the Vatican? And all of this came from me simply just swiping by on Instagram and seeing the back of this hoodie. So, yeah, take from it what you will, but nothing is by happenstance. Just know everything is on purpose, and you just don't know these people. You just don't know these people. I'm out. Y'all have a good day. Later. If you know, you know. Gang.